Shalom, Ka Hala, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka, Quidash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This is going to be a quick lesson centered around those that have been separated or those that have been sanctified because when you listen to a Christian they always throw in the word saved and sanctified around but really in reality they don't understand what it is to be sanctified and to be saved and they also throw the word around filled with the Holy Ghost but we here at Great Millstone say the Holy Spirit because that's what it is the Holy Spirit and not a ghost Christianity always, and mainly our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, those that subscribe to Christianity, they always throwing around the words saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, as they say it. But I want to focus on being sanctified because to be sanctified is to be sanctified by the word. Now, the Word is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, pursuant to the book of Revelation, the 19th chapter. Now, Yahweh Shai have already been sanctified. He have already been hollowed or set apart because Yahweh Shai is the true consecrated one, all right? The one that is made pure in order for us to be made pure. Yahweh Shai had to give himself up to the cross and shed his blood in order for us to be made pure. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7, it says, in whom we have redemption through his blood and that we are the what? Sanctified ones. That we represents separation. Those that have been set apart, which is who? The elect those that have been predestinated to be sanctified and to be saved and to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And that's all by the blood of Yahweh Shah. It says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Let's look up this word redemption. The pronunciation in the Strong's G. Strong's G, 629, Apalutrosis, Apalutrosis. It says, a releasing effect by payment of ransom. So Yahweh Shai paid that ransom, all right, by what? Shedding his blood. It says, redemption, deliverance, all right? And that goes back to what? Being saved. So the elect are the ones that are set apart, which is to be sanctified, all right? The elect are the ones that are set apart for deliverance. Why? Because Yahweh Shai's blood has already covered them. Okay? Now, let's go back. Ephesians 1 and 7 again. In whom we have redemption through his blood, and we have the greatest hope upon the planet. We are the hopeful elect. Because that hope that we have, and that comes by the gift of faith, gives us to hope. All right. It gives us hope in being a part of the elect. Those that the Redeemer are going to bring redemption unto. It says in whom we, which is a separation, those that have been set apart or sanctified, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, meaning we all sinned against the Most High by breaking the law, statutes, and commandments as a whole nation. But a small number, those that are sanctified or set apart those that have been made hollow those that have been made clean and they have been made clean by what the forgiveness of sins and that's by the blood according to the riches of his grace so all of this is by the blood of Yahweh Shai all right now Yahweh Shai coming to do the will of the Most High and complete the will of the Most High that Yahweh Shai did that allowed him to be made perfect all right to be uh, hollowed, to be set apart, to be sanctified. And by Yahweh Shai, we're going to be sanctified. 
and that's by his blood, all right? And that's not just speaking something off of your tongue and proclaiming to be uh, saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit. It comes by predestination. Let's jump up. Ephesians 1 and verse 4, it says, According as he have chosen us, meaning predestination, and that us is a separation, those that have been what? Set apart in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. So the Most High have given the elect unto Yahweh from the beginning. All right? Yahweh Shai came to the earth and gave himself up to the cross to die for the elect. All right? Those that was given unto him in the beginning. That's why Yahweh Shai said, I have not lost one of those that you gave unto me, roughly paraphrasing what Yahweh Shai told the Most High about the elect. All right? So the elect are the only ones that's going to be saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit right now. Unlike the rhetoric that the Christians always throw around. Now, to be sanctified is to be sanctified what? By the word, which is Yahweh Shah. All right. Now, once we got our pure mind stirred up by the way of remembrance, according to the book of Second Peter. chapter 3 and verse 1 it says this second epistle which meaning this second letter be loved which are those that are what set apart those that are hollow those that are sanctified all right which is the elect i now write unto you in both which i stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance let's read that again second peter 3 and 1 this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. So the elect, once they heard these words within this book, which really embodies Yahweh Shai, their pure minds were stirred up by the way of remembrance, meaning they turned back to the old path. All right, start back keeping the law, statutes, and commandments in their best ability here in America meaning they came back to the true powers, which is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. They came back to their true identity, all right? So their pure mind was woken up by the way of remembrance, meaning their mind was cleansed, all right? Because sanctification or to be sanctified starts in the mind. That's why the scripture tells us in the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2, and be not conformed to this world. So two-thirds of our people, those that are not sanctified or set apart, which is outside of the elect, they are conformed to this world. It says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that's our pure minds being stirred up by the weight of remembrance. And that remembrance is mercy from the Most High to allow you to remember Yahweh Shai and to follow Yahweh Shai. And that's by what? Your mind being transformed or being cleansed by these scriptures. Once these epistles uh, was given unto you, okay? And if you were predestinated to receive these epistles, it was going to cleanse you or sanctify you or set you apart or make you hollow. It says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. See that? Now we are what? Being made a new creation. Okay? But it all starts in the mind, and the body will follow. It says that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. And that's continuing in this work, to complete this work. All right? Just like Yahweh Shai completed his mission. We want to follow Yahweh Shai and complete our mission. All right? Which is to prophesy against this place, warn our people unto the end, whether they hear or forbear. But the sanctification starts in the mind, all right? Let's look up this word, conformed, the pronunciation in the Strong's G. Strong's G, 4964. Suschematizo. Suschematizo. 
It says to conform one's self, i.e. one's mind, see that, and character, to another's pattern, fashion one's self according to. So we was one upon a time, or once upon a time, we fashioned ourselves and our pattern according to this world because we had that impure mindset. But once our mindset was stirred up by the way of remembrance or we regained our pure mind and we was cleansed of the filth of America, and that's what, by the word, now we conform ourselves to the way of the old path, which is mainly following Yahweh Shai. All right? Now let's look at this word, transformed. The pronunciation in the Strong's G. Strong's G, 3339, metamorpho, metamorpho. It says to change into another form, to transform, to transfigure. All right, so we what? Became a new creature, all right, which is followers of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, all right? And that's by the words, these epistles being read unto us. We woke up out of this deep sleep, and that's to be set apart or to be sanctified. Let's get the book of, let's get the book of St. John. Chapter 17. In verse 15, it says, let's start at 14. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. And that's talking about the elect. All right. Yahweh Shai is saying, I have given them thy word. All right, and the world is showing hate upon those that are what? Separated. That's why the world hate us, because we are hollowed. We are sanctified, all right? Meaning we are cleansed, and that begins with your mind. But they are what? Impure, and that begins with their brains, all right? Being conformed to Esau Edom's world. It says, I pray not that thou should have taken them out of the world, but thou should have keep them from the evil. And these are the times that we're coming into, which are bad times. So those that Yahweh Shai died for, all right, and prayed for, not to take them out of the world, but to keep them from the evil times, is the elect. And those are the only ones that are going to be kept from these ill times or bad times, evil meaning bad times or ill times, which is those that have been what, hollowed or set apart. See that? Verse 16, it says, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. See that? Let's look up the word sanctify. Because how do they become sanctified? Through this truth. All right? Through the words. Here's the word sanctify, the pronunciation in the Strong's G. Strong's G37, Hagiadzo. Hagiadzo. It says, to separate from profane things, all right, dedicated to the Most High. All right? And what's the profane thing that we're separated from? This world, or these philosophies of this world, the ways of this world. Consecrate things to the Most High, meaning cleanse things to the most high. See that? It says to purify internally by renewing of the soul. See that? So it all begins with your mind and that's where the soul lies or the spirit lies. So we've been purified by these words, by this truth. St. John 17 and 17, sanctify them, separation, which is the elect, through thy truth. Thy word is truth. See that? It says, As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. So Yahweh Shah sanctified himself. Therefore, now we are sanctified if Yahweh Shah's blood covers us. All right? And those that his blood potentially covers, we endure unto the end, all right? And Lord willing, we'll get 
covered from those said perils, from these evil times. All right, but we're going to get hated. All right. And it's going to get more intense than, than it ever been because we're at the end. But remember, we have been what? Sanctified because Yahweh Shah sanctified himself for us, Lord willing. We are part of those that have been set apart, those that have been hollowed, which is the elect. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5, and verse 26, it says, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So this is how you become a part of those that are sanctified by this truth, by this word. And we all know Christianity do not have the truth. Anyone that subscribes to Christianity, they do not have the truth. So they can't be saved, sanctified and filled with the Holy Spirit. See that? Psalms 119 And verse 9 tells us, it says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? So how do a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. And we all know those that subscribe unto Christianity, they don't even know the scriptures. All right? And even if they could read the scriptures and memorize them, they don't understand them. All right, so their way is not cleansed, all right? Now, the book of St. John, chapter 15, and verse 3 tells us, it says, Now ye, separation, which is us being the hopeful elect, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you, because we are taking heed unto Yahweh Shai, number one, which is the word and the words that I found within the Bible, which embodies Yahweh Shai. All right. Uh, Psalms 40 and 7, for lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. All right. Roughly paraphrasing. And that's speaking of Yahweh Shai. So that's how you become saved, sanctified and filled with the Holy Spirit through accepting Yahweh Shai. All right. And understanding this truth. All right. The 100 percent truth. All right. Not the, the, the false truth that Christianity speaks of, mainly by them saying that they're saved, sanctified and filled with the Holy Spirit. And number one, what, what you're saved from, you're still in captivity. Yahweh Shai haven't came and delivered us yet. So until Yahweh Shai come and delivered us, delivers us, we're saved from nothing. We must be delivered from these bodies. All right. Delivered from Esau, Edom's rule. Delivered from these said perils before even that happens. So what we, we can't be saved, all right? But there are those that are sanctified, which is the elect. Those that have been cleansed by this word. Those that Yahweh Shai's blood covered. Those are the ones that, that shall be saved and are sanctified and filled with the Holy Spirit. All right? So, you know, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Shalom, DTA.